So today, my dear devotees, I would like to share with you one verse from Prema Bhakti Chandrika. But before that, I would like to make a little bit uh, a summary of what we have heard last time. Radhe Radhe Sundaram. Last time we were listening about the different kind of dhyans. Dhyan means deep meditation or fixed meditation. And in the end, Gurdiv was giving one very nice uh, uh, commentary where he was saying that uh, the first important thing in uh, to come into deep meditation is to meditate about myself. So this is called Svarupa Dhyan. Myself as, as I am in my spiritual form, as I want to be a gopi in Vrindavan. And Gurudev said, that is the first and foremost practice before I can remember anything else or I want to remember anything else. I want to remember myself in Vrindavan as a gopi, as a servant of Shimati Radhika. That is the most important thing. And from there, Gurudev said, the remembrance of the Leela can, can start, the Leela Diha. And then comes the Rasa Dhyan, the my loving service for my Swamini. So these are all these uh, Sanskrit words, but actually they are not very complicated. First, I have to remember myself, who I am, and then I can remember what I want to do, how I want to serve. And then I can uh, absorb myself in the desired service or in the desired inspirations of what I have heard. And that, Gurudev says, when this comes and we have been, you know, making progress in uh, hearing and chanting and singing and all these different processes that are helping to remember who I am. And then Siddha Swarup will come. So if that process has been come complete or the mercy has become strongly, then from there the Seva will start to become alive. Before it will be like a flash maybe, like a memory like a, a desire. So that uh, I I wanted to start with because these were the last words of Gurudev. And uh, he also said, um, if we are not in this remembrance, then we are in our material Lila Dhyan. And that is also quite normal because we are still here in this body, in this world, and we have to also do our duties here. So that is not a contradiction, but it's just like a development. Narottam Das Thakur says it's like becoming ripe. So that I just wanted to remember because I thought it was very nice that Gurudev gave this uh, advice to us. First, remember myself. And then I want to read the verse with you. Because these actually are two verses, whatever we cannot cover today, we will do next week about this remembrance and about how to remember and very interesting about uh, spiritual psychology. And this is a verse that uh, Naratom Das Thakur is quoting from Sanat Kumara Samhita. The Gaudiya Vaishnava Sadaka should think of himself as an adolescent 
cowherd girl. A female associate of Shiradharani's girlfriends engaged in the service of Radha Mohan on the order of the Sakis and decorated with Sri Radharani's leftover garments and ornaments. So here again we have this, remember myself as a teenage girl, cowherd girl, a very natural girl living in the nature of Vrindavan, a female associate of Sri Radharani's girlfriends. I'm also assisting Sri Radharani's girlfriends. And I'm engaged in the service of Radha Mohan on the order of the Sakis and decorated with Sri Radharani's leftover garments and ornaments. And uh, I found one very nice connection to Vilapa Kusmanjali because actually this verse was also lived by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself. He was giving the example. And in Vilapa Kusmanjali verse 35, in the purport, our revered Ananda Das Babaji is giving example of Chaitanya Charitamrita, where Lord Chaitanya himself had this meditation. And I want to read a little bit of this. Krishna became Gora to taste the love that Radhika feels for him. And after he had experienced that, he also wanted to taste the nectar of the kinkari service. While he relished the mood of the manjaris, the Lord's body became formed like a turtle. So in he, his uh, meditations, Goranga became so absorbed that his body transformed in ecstatic feelings. Or sometimes his limbs would loosen and stretch out. And this is explained or details are in Chaitanya Chaitamrita Antya Leela, chapter 14, where Gauranga Mahaprabhu tastes manjari bath when he is in this special ecstasy. And then he says, Today I went to Govardhan Hill, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, to see if Krishna was tending his cows there. Climbing on Govardhan Hill, Krishna played his flute, surrounded by the cows. Hearing the flute song, Shimati Radharani came there. Oh, Saki, I cannot describe her form and mood. Krishna took Radha by the hand and entered a cave with her. While the Sakis told me to pick some flowers. For the service of Sri Sri Radha Mohan, the Sakis are asking the Kinkaris to pick flowers. Here it is clear that Mahaprabhu finally came to relish the mood of the spiritual maidservants, the Mandaris, in the pinnacle of his ecstatic absorption. So this is a very interesting uh, connection that I feel 
when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself is Radha and Krishna, and they are coming to invite all living entities to give mercy for this special deep understanding of feeling that they are experiencing and that they are sharing with us and that they are giving freely this frame that is so specially full of the feelings of Shimati Radhika and also of her maidservanthood. So I will read this again after that. The Gaudiya Vaishnava Sadaka should think of themselves as an adolescent cowherd girl, a female associate of Sri Radharani's girlfriends, engaged in the service of Radha Mohan on the order of the Sakis and decorated with Sri Radharani's leftover garments and ornaments. Jairade, all devotees, thank you for coming to listen. So, Shimati Radharani is giving the mercy to be her maidservant. We have heard this many times that she is giving the prashad, the mercy, and her leftover garlands, her leftover dress, and her leftover desires to please Mohan. Because these, all these dresses of Shimati Radhika, all the, you know, her, her, her earrings and her hair and all her, you know, beautiful rings and everything that she has, they are expressions of her love, of her ecstatic love to Mohan. And when she is very happy with the service of her Darcy's, she is giving a uh, prashad. This prashad has the power to increase the feelings for the maidservants. What are these feelings? These feelings are the desires to serve. In this uh, meditation on the Siddha Deha chapter, on the purport of this verse, Baba is saying, the Raga Nuga Sadaka must meditate on himself as a female associate of the Sakis, like Lalita Vishaka or Sri Rupa Manjari, who is dedicated to the service of Radha Mohan on their order, and whose own body consisting of spiritual aspirations is decorated by Sri Radhika's leftover garlands, dresses and ornaments. So, the body that we are now trying to meditate on and that we try to identify with and become alive in that body, in that spiritual body, is made of feelings, of desires to serve Shimati Radhika. And these desires we also get by getting mercy. These desires are so pure in their nature that they only consist of, of desires for service. That's why they are also sometimes called Seva Mai or Bhava Mai. Deha, the body that is consisting of uh, service and feelings for service and feeling what Srimati Radhika wants to, you know, give me as a remnant of her service. In this way, it is uh, explained that what is the meaning of prashad? We know that Radha Mohan are taking, uh, you know, the offerings of the devotees, and then they are also giving the prashad. Means it is the flying kiss, like Gurudev often explained. It is the, you know, the the rasa that they taste when they are, you know, feeling their love. They are giving this back to us, so that we can 
more and more understand and feel their feelings. And especially Shimati Radharani's feelings, because the, she is our Swamini, we are her small Dasis, and we try to uh, more and more enter into the feelings of being her maidservant, being her uh, assistant. And Mahaprabhu himself, he was tasting this by saying that in my meditation, I was at Govardhan Hill and I saw Radha and Mohan going in the cave and the uh, the bigger uh, sakis, the bigger gopis, they told me to pick some flowers. So she was, uh, Mahaprabhu was a little flower girl uh, and she was doing the services under the guidance of the bigger gopis. And it's also interesting that uh, in that uh, verse that Mahaprabhu says, especially about Shimati Radhika, Oh, you, Sakis, she was so beautiful. When I saw, I cannot describe her form and her mood. This is typical also for the mandaris, for the small servants of Shrimati Radhika. They are always focused on her form. They are always focused on her beauty. They are more interested and more... Uh, Enchanted by Shimate Radhika's form and beauty, even when she is together with Mohan, the Mandaris will always like to, you know, they feel more for her. That's what is meant when we hear that the Mandaris are this Adhika Sneha, Radha Adhika Sneha. They have more affection for Radhika than for Mohan. That is the special uh, characteristic and that is also when we are reading the text or when we are hearing Gurudev is teaching us to develop these feelings by seeing everything from the perspective of a maidservant of Shrimati Radhika in that connection Gurudev also was mentioning that for the Manaris for the girls of Shimati Radhika's closest friends, most confidential and intimate servants, she, Shimati Radhika, is the Rasa. Usually, Krishna is Rasa Raj, right? And Shimati Radhika is Mahabhav. Usually, we are speaking in these kinds of terms about their feelings for each other. Krishna is he is the connoisseur and she is giving the feelings. But when we transfer these, transfer these feelings to ourselves, aspiring to enter into these feelings to our Swamini, then we are the feelings that, are, you know, the let's say the spiritual body that we are aspiring is full of the feelings to taste our rasa Swamini. <laughs> Swamini is our rasa. She is our rasa sar. She is the container of all feelings that nourish the mandri feelings. All feelings come from her. And she is giving these feelings like by giving garments and ornaments. How can we remember this in our daily lives? By remembering that everything that comes in my life to help me with the spiritual advancement is her mercy. Or like when we are in Vrindavan now, like many devotees are there, when Radha Mohan every day, the, the garlands are distributed, then... Uh, Sometimes Gurudev is giving these garlands to the devotees who are in the room. And I try to always remember that this is like Shimati Radhika is giving me through her dasi, through Guru Mandri, the garland of her mercy, of Radha Mohan's mercy, but especially Shimati Radhika's mercy to help me to get more of these feelings of her 
uh, feelings and to grow in uh, my consciousness about this. And that is the spiritual body. It's not only, oh, now I have to, uh, you know, wait until it happens to me. Oh, it will happen to me at the end of uh, my life. Then maybe Shimati Radhika will come or Gurudev will come. No, it is actually, especially in Vrindavan and especially trying to live in the mood of Vrindavan, even when we are in our Western uh, apartments and in our Western work situation and family situation, to always remember that to connect with these feelings so that my feeling body, let's say the consciousness of who I am, will grow more and more into that beautiful flower girl who wants to serve our Swamini every day, 24 hours in that consciousness. I try to remember everything and if I forget it, I go back. I try to remember who I am. That is the first step in uh, our meditation, who I am and what is my name. If Gurudev has given you your name, then remember that I am this and that Dasi. And if you have not gotten the name, then go to Vrindavan and beg and cry for that. Try to connect with that as much as possible in this lifetime at that moment and now here in time. That is what I try to practice and I say not these words because I'm perfect in it, but because I am a fool and I'm learning by uh, repeating it all the time. <laughs> and then my loving service can come more alive and I can always connect with the mercy of the Vaishnavas, of Gurudev and of Rindavan, even if I am in separation even if I am far away, I always uh, aspire to again and again connect with these feelings. And the feelings are the most important part. It's not about the knowledge, but the feelings are more um, helpful to go deeper. But sometimes it's also the more knowledge. Oh, don't you remember who you are? Oh, yes. Even if I don't have a feelings of it, I can also buy some, you know, mind help. And that is a very important help. Remember who I am. So here says uh, Ananda Das Babaji. Thus we meditate on ourselves. Oops. Somebody came. Sorry, I got this. <laughs> Thus he meditates on himself as a submissive maidservant or Priya Nama Saki who follows Sri Lalita, Sri Rupa Manjari and renders loving service to Sri Sri Radha Mohan on the order of his Sri Guru Manjari. That is also a very beautiful point that our Gurudev was giving us our mantra, our guidance, our um, feelings, you know, his prashadi feelings. When we are close to Gurudev, we feel how he or she feels. And that becomes, you know, a, like a layer in my heart also. This is prashad. When Gurudev is giving feelings, this is my prashad because these are the feelings of Srimati Radhika that he has gotten from his Guru Manjari. So we are all connected in this and we try to really feel uh, every day, how can I get this prashad somehow? How can I connect with this prashad? And I have uh, the experience that if this desire is very strong, then also it will happen here when we are in separation. Because the feelings of separation can, again, connect, you know. This is the big secret about separation. Separation makes the heart grow fonder and separation can help us to feel that we are together. 
because the intense meditation on uh, Shimati Radhika and her maid servants will connect me with them. That is the mystical, uh, but also in life, you know, the mother always thinks about their child and they are never separated from their child, even when they bring the children to the kindergarten. It will be very natural that they will remember them all day long while they are cooking, they are thinking about them. In the same way, we are also, we are the maidservants and Shimati Radhika is our Swamini and Gurudev is our, you know, big help to go deeper and deeper into these feelings. They will help us to go in this uh, intense um, connection more and more. And always every day I remember that. I try to connect with that. And when I do my cooking and my cleaning and my, my daily uh, services, that I have my work and whatever it is, I try to do it always in my heart. I am connected with Vrindavan, with my Guru Manjari and with Srimati Radhika's service in one way or the other. That is called spiritual psychology. So, and uh, yeah, the definition, what is the Guru Rupa Saki or Guru Manjari? He who teaches Raga Nuga Bhajan by giving initiation to Shri Krishna Mantra is a Guru Rupa Saki in Braja Lila. Somebody's mic is on. I hear some kitchen sounds. <laughs> So, and then uh, Baba is explaining what is the wonderful, powerful spiritual psychology. It is, you know, reading all the purports, it's, it seems like it is a repetition, but every time some new inspiration comes, the repetition is never the same because the feelings of, of those who are expressing their feelings are always growing because they are spiritual feelings. In the spiritual world, the feelings are never satiated. Like here in this material realm, after some time, feelings will become maybe, you know, on, on one level of feelings where they not grow. But in the spiritual world, the feelings are also growing always to new and new and new levels because it is unlimited and this unlimited feelings they are coming to us when we connect and when we hear and remember our spiritual masters our services with them or to them and so baba says that the of all the human powers the powers of the thought are the most powerful ones And this, this power of thought is um, self-manifested. We know that when we wake up in the morning, then always some feelings come. Some, you know, Sometimes when we have problems, we, we cannot sleep because the mind will not settle down with the feelings or the thinking. But applied in spiritual life, it has the same result. And Baba is... Uh, advising us that the power of the thought should be practiced until we are really connected with our desired results, which, which will be service of Shimati Radhika. And then it will stay with the brain. It will stay with the mind. If it's only in the brain and something that we try to learn, it will not have the, the, the same result. But if it becomes a feeling that is connected to the heart, then it will be a mental, what he says, bouquet of love. Like our uh, in uh, Vilapa Kushmanjali, Raghunath Das Goswami is giving his mental bouquet of love. That is all his 
feelings, all his deepest desires he is expressing in these beautiful verses that come from exactly right from the heart into his pen. And this has such a, you know, it has such a powerful potency that will affect the reader's consciousness. And so Baba is um, inspiring in this purport that uh, the power of spiritual psychology, spy, uh, psychology is the fixed meditation of God. And the sadhaka who does this to fix and to really, really focus on these meditations and on these, uh, you know, we have the books, we have the verses, we have the classes, we have so many supports. Only we need to always try to beg the mind to please, please, my dear mind, should we read more today? Should we meditate more today? And the mind, of course, always says, no, now I want to eat. And the senses want to, you know, be used. And now I have to go here and there. But the mind, if the mind is staying in these powerful meditations, it can be so uh, quick, the result. There can be a very quick result in a short time in a very positive way. And that is what Baba is uh, advising us. That by thinking of the Siddha Deha and being situated in identification with one Swarup, the Gaudiya Vaishnava becomes fixed in meditation on his mental service of Sri Radha Mohan with the aid, with the help of the thought power endowed with the like minded grace power of the wise men of yore. So that is also like another new aspect, what I meditated on when I prepared this. Because it's not only I am doing my meditation and I try to remember, you know, Vilapa Kushmanjali, Prema Bhakti Chandrika, I would like to read with feelings. But no, when I go into these um, feelings of our great Achayas, our great Dasis, our great Mandris, because they are all Mandris, Tulsi Mandari, Vilas Mandari, Rupa Mandari. Then also their power is coming into my consciousness. And I thought this was a really, really nice um, help and feeling that I got this morning on yesterday when I was meditating on this. It's not that I alone, I am there, but whenever I connect with my Vilapa Kushmanjali, with my uh, Naratam Dastaka, then they are helping me also when I'm singing the songs. It's not only that I am going in their direction, but they are also, you know, they are, they are more merciful than Krishna even. You know that the Dasis and the Bhaktas are more merciful. They are going into our direction. So it's like double power and a double um, guarantee. So to say that one day our desires will be really more fulfilled than maybe now. Maybe now I try to smaran, I try to remember, and the mind is always, oh, now let's eat some ice cream, and now it's enough. Oh, I did already one hour. Nah, then one day it will be so natural that in everything I do, there will be smaran, there will be something that will be, you know, internal uh, connection. For that we pray, and by the mercy of our Guru Manjari, of our Gurudev, who's teaching us, we can accept it. That is the the another kind of higher level of uh, uh, smaran is varan, or it's helping us to accept that it is possible. It is not only possible when we are in Vrindavan. That is the highest place, and it's more easy there. But it's possible to do it everywhere where I live, where I serve, where I am with my, you know, family or whoever I am with, my mother and father and my workmates, it is possible at any moment if I have a desire, a strong desire to connect with this spiritual psychology. This is how Baba calls it. And we have so much help. We have so much hope. 
So I don't know. I have to check. Okay. So that was uh, the gist or the, the main facts of this purport. And um, the second verse that is also connected with that verse 59, I would like to do separately because it is the same subject how to go more deep in Raganuga Bhajan, how to remember and how to f uh, be more expertise in our uh, sadhan, in our bhajan, and in my feeling, growing of feelings. And in the end, I want to give you a small... Uh, I, I stole some meditations from my dear Gora Sundara. <laughs> I'm sure he is not against it. But I like it so much because he has this power to explain everything very simple and very deep. And he says, the science of the soul is how to grow loving feelings in relationships to God or goddess. The result of the science is stored in the heart, in the chitta. And it will stay eternally with the soul. And then he says another comparison. The science of the mind is how to grow in knowledge. The result of this science is stored in the brain. And it will stay maximum for one lifetime. Or it will stay as long as we identify with this body with that material Leela story. And then in the next life, it will be another story according to that body's story. So I like this very much because what we do in uh, Raganuga Bhakti is we, we really pray and cry for the mercy of connecting uh, with our heart and souls, with Shimati Radhika, with Vrindavan, with the Prema Bhaktas, with the Rasika Vaishnavas, so that my chitta, my consciousness may be absorbed in my spiritual existence and in my spiritual identity. And again, here I get this one line, the Siddha Deha is nourished by thinking of oneself in the form of a gopi, and adopting the feelings of a gopi. So that is learned by being in association of those who are doing that. So we need the association of Rupa Manjri, of Tulasi Manjri, of our Acharyas who have come and who have revealed their existence in the spiritual realm. Our Raghunadas Goswami, our Rupa Goswami, our Sanatana Goswami, and all the teachers that are coming in the lines down to today's teachers. And we are so lucky. We have a very beautiful teacher in Vrindavan who is sitting there helping us every day of our lives to connect more and more with this consciousness of who we really are and which service we want to do in our spiritual bodies and also our material existence that is connected very closely and that will be transformed as we have heard last time like from a caterpillar to a butterfly and one day we will be more 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 becoming ripe and have more realizations on that praying for this and begging you all for your mercy that uh, this will happen every day more and more and we can have a very happy life in this lifetime in this moment and in the next whatever will be that our swam where our swamini wants us jai shri radhe my dears please help me also yes thank you so much daya nidhi um Gurudev often he's he's uh, speaking about the Maria Magdalena gospel no? uh, yes. when uh, about the sin what is actually sin is sin is just to not remember our spiritual position in this way in this case our spiritual form 
So I can say for me, uh, it means that I'm I'm really sinner. <laughs> I can <laughs> I can I can I can even proudly can say I'm sinner because I'm trying to not be. And I know it, uh, it's not anymore this so negative. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Feeling, <laughs> but it's different. So. And um, um, uh, this is also very nice what you said that uh, we have all helps to our Goswamis that they are always with us. And I, I can feel that always when we are in this Sangha, that they are also here present. Always. Yes. Uh, and uh, when we, you, we were speaking about how to remember our spiritual form, for me, uh, it means uh, now just to remember the feeling, feeling what I have when I'm with Sangha like this, when I'm with Gurudev, and this feeling uh, I try to have always with me. And this helped me also to remember Mahaman, try to remember who I am yes. just for the moment, but I have this feel, feeling. But yes. also Prabhupada said also that feeling is the most important. And I, I would like to ask you, uh, uh, Gurudev also said uh, that uh, mm, uh, um, path to become gopis or uh, other spiritual personality uh, is more linear, but uh, to become manjari is more uh, difficult and is more, like you said, transformation to the butter butterfly right so if you can say something about that of this particular day of the manjari bar how transformation is taking place yes and and how it is different from uh, uh, more diff difficult with uh, than other identification with gold piece or, or in relation with krishna direct <laughs> Well, what comes to me right now is that the only thing that I know that makes a special um, quality is this, what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has given, this Trinada peace, Unichina, this, this absolute humility on every step. For me, it is... For me, it makes it uh, special because this humility is something that is very foreign to the material body. <laughs> because material body always wants to be boss, material mind always wants to control. But in this transformation, um, to be fully dependent on the mercy of Swamini, this is the... Uh, I think it's a very special characteristic of Manjari Bhav. And we have heard many times that Prem and humility are completely like connected, is almost the same. So in this material world, when we try to become a Manjari or so, it's like that complete transformation of consciousness, of accepting all circumstances and not to be uh, disturbed by all, you know, but all things that happen in my life. So that I find, uh, I find the most the biggest challenge for myself that the Trinada P Sunichina at every step to always feel that I am a small, you know, Darcy and completely dependent on Swamini and I don't want to control any situation. I don't want to control. I cannot even control my own mind. <laughs> Krishna says this to Arjuna also. It's so difficult. But somehow by love and by the, you know, prashad, the mercy of our dear Gurudev, our dear Vaishnavas, they are sharing, we are sharing. And then we learn how to feel more relaxed in this complete dependence. 
I feel this is the transformation for myself. This complete dependency on the mercy of Shimati Radhika, of Gurudev's uh, well-wishing um, love in every step of my life. Because if I think, like, for example, oh, I'm a, I'm a, a das or so of the divine, Oh, then I think, yes, I will serve the divine. I will give the, um, you know, my best. And every day will be some, you know, it will be more like in a awe and reverence way, try to serve. But to really completely surrender with all my feelings every day, it's a big challenge for me. Because when the feelings are involved, then it goes to the heart, right? When it stays only in the mind or in the brain that I am a servant of God, yeah, okay, good. I want to be a good person. I want to be a good soul. But to really completely be dependent and surrender and not have my own, you know, selfish desired, desires in there anymore, I think for myself that's the, the greatest challenge in the Manjari Bhav Sadhana. That is the greatest challenge and the most uh, biggest transformation. Otherwise, uh, I don't know what to say for you. I uh, Maybe um, Gurdiv would like to say something about this. Uh, comment on this, Gurdiv. Or Udavji, I see here so many exalted devotees who would like to add. Okay, at the moment there's nothing coming. I guess Dayanidi, I hope that something uh, what came was what you feel, what is helpful for you, what you what you think, what is the biggest transformation. What do you feel about this? Yeah, for, for sure, this is the biggest challenge also for me. To develop tolerance. But also I feel that uh, complete success in that actually we, we can have only more we become identified, more we can start to live in this, in our spiritual body. Mm -hmm. We all yeah. can try, we can try, but uh, we can never have success, actually. Anartha Nivriti will never happen, actually. We can only meditate, and by this transformation of the Lila, something will happen. So, in the same time, no, my feeling is that we must to do the best with our, our false ego, but in the same time, only this uh, real ego, if we become conscious or real ego, all the this Trinadapi Sunni channel will become our our natural position. Mm. What is natural position of the Manjaris? So maybe in, in this case, when Baba speaking about spiritual psychology, this is very wonderful because the uh, Western psych psychology always speaking about false ego, but <laughs> he never can say about nothing about real ego, and this spiritual. Psychology speaking only about real ego. <laughs> so it's wonderful. Yes. yes, and I feel you are right. When we are sharing together here, everyone is listening. And even, you know, by listening each other and sharing each other, so many emotions are coming up, you know, prayers coming up. That's what happens when I listen uh, to the classes that I feel the others and I can increase my own feelings. And why are we always eager to listen to Gurudev? Why? Because this is coming from the platform of Swarup. That is some sound vibration for our ears that will give the highest feelings. But now Gurudev sometimes says, oh, I'm playing hide and seek. I'm... I'm not always there. You have to also increase your own feelings. 
you cannot uh, always be, uh, <laughs> you know, hiding and you have to also share your own feelings. You cannot always uh, just expect that I will uh, give everything. You have to always go in your own uh, deep uh, desires for bhajan and also experience yourself. And then when we go into bhajan, then Gurudev is never far away. Is it so? Because without Gurudev, how can we do any bhajan? He is the... His prashad is our bhajan, you know. He has given all his feelings, all his mood in his service to his Gurudev and to Swamini. So we are we are always begging for this prashad or we try to remember that prashad and live in that prashad. But at the same time, uh, sometimes when Gurudev is, is uh, you know, giving us the chance to serve by repeating the words of our, you know, great, great Rasika Vaishnavas and Rasika Achayas, then also we become purified and we become connected. That is the spiritual psychology. It's not that I have to do it by myself. I just have to be like uh, surrendering the mind and the feelings to go in that direction. And I like Raghunath Das Goswami was even praying to the mind. My dear mind, please, let's be brothers. We were born on the same day. Please, let's cooperate. So I think, yeah, like you said, that's the difference in the psychology that it's not I am the doer, but I, I, I am more the viewer. And by viewing, I can connect with the feelings and I can receive Prashad. My container to receive will be more bigger. And that is really something very wonderful that more I receive, my container is growing. But the holes, no? when the holes come, and these are the sense uh, objects and the you know engagement in these things, these are the holes and they always let the mercy again, you know, drip out. But this is, my own uh, endeavor, my own practice, and the mercy again. I have to beg, and you know, then and then the hole become less, and then my container can grow and be go more stronger. <laughs> Today I was sharing of your uh, realizations, Gora. Wow! <laughs> my God. The science of the soul is how to grow loving feelings in relationship to God or Goddess. The result of this science is stored in the heart and will stay eternally with the Atma. So beautiful. And the science of the mind is how to grow in knowledge of the material mind, not about the spiritual chitta. And the result of this science is stored in the brain and will stay maximum one lifetime. So that is the spiritual psychology. And this is all about how to grow loving feelings in relationship. And this is, I always feel also one big challenge to go really in relationship because this tendency of the mind and the senses is always to use God for the, you know, for what I desire. But this has to stop. And I really want to pray that to all Vaishnavas and Gurudev that the desire become more purified, to really desire what this Srimati Radhika's desire to please Mohan and to be in this spiritual desire world, Vrindavan. This, this is a real uh, spiritual psychology. You, you know, sometimes people with the problem, they make the circle and they speak about their problems to resolve something. So this, this Sadhu Sangha is actually spiritual <laughs> psychology. Sadhu Sangha. Yes. It's, one, it's wonderful. Results are really wonderful. <laughs> Yeah, the results are uplifting. Otherwise, like Gurudev said there last time, I am again in my material Rasa Leela. No? 
how can I solve this? How can I do this? Why am I having this problem and that problem? And we have all a book to write about that for sure. No? But to go beyond and to go into the spiritual feelings and world is another level. It's a, in a complete different dimension. And we need help for that. I need help. Whenever I, I sit here, I pray that Gurudev will use me and my words and my feelings to connect in the humble way with all the Vaishnavas' feelings and my brothers and sisters to serve them and not to do my own glorification or ego trips here by thinking that I'm a wonderful speaker or whatever. <laughs> ego is very uh, subtle. Ego is very deep. But to go in this really self-esteem of a Darcy, it is another story completely. Because then we are always in service and we are always guided. Uh, can I say the last, last thing? Uh, I remember from the... Uh, mm -hmm long time ago from apastamba it is some uh, vedic uh, we can say uh, about how to learn from gurudev how it's working some science no o about teachings and they said uh, that uh, a disciple uh, can uh, from 100 percent of wo what he received in the school of gurudev when 25% he received from the guru, 25% wow. from God brothers, 25% from uh, his own intelligence, we can say maybe our endeavor, uh, I don't know, and 25% from the uh, time, aspect of the time. So, mm. again, interesting <laughs> also interesting in, yes in, in this dimension of the spiritual psychology yeah that's interesting and 25 100 percent from shimati radhika in all <laughs> because yeah. she arranging time she arranging association she arranging gurudev she is doing it all because she is the adi guru tattva right she is doing uh, for us also all these arrangements wow yeah it's nice to meditate on these different different aspects how they are connected so 50 percent from the manjaris <laughs> yeah. for sure we need the manjaris help So thank you, my dears, for coming. And I think Gurudev now he will maybe come into our Kitan class, right, Sundaram? <laughs> Are you ready? I'm always here and listening. Jai ho! <laughs> oh, wow, you're hiding, Gurudev. <laughs> is very deep, and this question cannot answer without practice. This question need the practice now <clears throat> to realize it without realizing we never understand anything. and that realization is right we have to live in the mercy of Radharani and Rasit Vaishnava. We have to bring the mind in the lotus feet of Radha Radha Mohan. Radha Mohan means Radha Mohan. 